What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? My now ex-mother-in-law, after he beat me, well, one of the times, told me that had I been a good little girl and just listened to him, that uh, he probably wouldn't have beat me as bad as he did. So yeah, there was that. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? This one was made for me. So this was when my boyfriend and I were dating in high school and we were together for about four years and I broke up with him because he wasn't stepping up to the plate how I needed him to. And even though I had expressed over and over again my needs for the relationship, it was constantly being dismissed. He took me for granted. So I'm like, that's it. I'm done. His mom shows up at my job and curses me out in front of everyone, my coworkers and my customers alike. And she starts telling me, I gave you time to talk to me. Why didn't you talk to me? Why didn't you come to me and tell me about the breakup? You're losing a family. You're a bitch. So since I was at work, I, I couldn't say anything or I was going to lose my job. And, and her words were not even bothering me. What bothered me more was the fact that she came to my job and she pretty much showed her true colors um, at, at how disrespectful she actually is. So my boss gave me a break so I can just collect myself because that really startled the shit out of me and pissed me off to say the least. And I messaged her an entire paragraph that I will never forget what I said. I basically told her, if you were woman enough, you would have come to me privately and talked to me about this. Number two, I don't have to tell you anything about our relationship because I'm not dating you. I'm dating your son. And if your son is not what I need, I wasted four years of my life. I don't have to tell you shit. So we are back together now. Um, do I trust his mom? <laughs> no. But do we get along? Yeah, because that's his mom and she did apologize to me for everything. So that's a plus. But um, I definitely don't trust this lady. Um, yeah, no. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? So this woman has a tendency to talk shit about me in Spanish. Like one time we were laid up in the bed. She like walked in, saw me, yelled Susia and then walked the fuck out. Don't understand why, but she does it all the time. But this last time was the most hilarious fucking shit. I'm literally packing up the car to leave. Spent the weekend with them. Everything was fine. But then she's on the porch talking to the neighbor. I don't pay attention to it because they're speaking in Spanish. Don't know Spanish. And it's not my conversation. My boyfriend runs out of the fucking garage like a bat out of hell. Why? Because this woman was talking shit about me in front of me in Spanish. He was like, you know she don't know Spanish. You over here talking shit. Say it in fucking English. Say it in motherfucking English. And I'm like, and I'm grabbing him like, calm down, calm down. I still don't know what the fuck is really going on. But he like looked at me. He was like, no, she was talking shit about you. Why did this woman start crying? Why did this woman start crying as if she was the victim in all this? You started all this. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? Uh, she called me a selfish bitch while I was about to deliver my first child because I wanted my own mother in the room instead of her. She's now my ex-mother-in-law. worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you this one was made for me so we got married on march 27th which was a saturday on friday the 26th she messaged me on facebook and said that she was not going to be able to make it to our wedding or i mean i guess she said she wasn't coming to our wedding because she was going to the flea market. I mean, how much worse can you get? The flea market over your son's wedding? Terrible.
back. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? Oh, there's a whole list of things that I can say, but one of the worst things, and thankfully last conversation I had with this woman, um, we were in a heated conversation and I was trying to convince her why I was in nursing school and what the reasons were for doing it. And that was like, I always dreamed of being a nurse. I was wanting to continue my education and I wanted to be a good role model to my daughters who are also her granddaughters. And she said something along the lines of something like, well, you're gonna lose everybody in the end when they realize that you prioritize school above your family. So I hope your degree keeps you warm at night. The thing is though, I didn't lose anybody who was supporting me through it all. It's been a rough journey, but the people who love and cared about me stuck through it to the end. And it just opened my eyes that the only people I lost were the people who didn't matter and who didn't support me. So worst thing, but it also was an eye opener in the end. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? So I've never met my fiance's like family for a reason like i've met his dad and he's okay but he doesn't seem to like me too much but he doesn't like anybody his mother's side of the family he is texting me um but i've never met them because they're racist like the entire mexican side of his family is racist grandma grandpa everybody so it's not just his mama. His Mimi is the only one who's on my side. Like he showed her a picture of me and I was like, oh, she's really pretty. I hope y'all work out. The rest of the family, no. They say, oh, we have this other girl that you can get with. She's Mexican. She's racist. They're all racist and don't like me because I'm white. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? Oh, oh. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. So, my mill not only said it to me, but also the other daughter-in-law. All of us ladies get the special treat when we get pregnant. Finally. Yeah. Anyway, so let's talk. Excited announcement that I was pregnant. Yay! We had a miscarriage that December, so I was super, super freaking pumped about it. Da 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 da. Long story short on that, her motivational talk for every pregnancy is well, um, are you getting an amniocentesis to make sure it's not a retard or anything like that? Because we abort retards around here. Yeah, ironically enough, she ended up doing it to my sister-in-law too because my sister-in-law has some back problems but an amazing gymnast and everything growing up. Asked her as well if something was wrong with her baby if she was going to abort it. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? It's not what she said to me, it's what she said I did to her. She said I hit her with a car. You wouldn't have had just a bruise if I'd hit you with a car. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? I need a good drink for this one. Hold on. That he was my problem now. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. He's still your son. He came from you. 